Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. And what is this video about? Well, you may have just felt a slight little tingling sensation in the back of your memory. Yes, that's because you've just heard the sound of a dial-up modem, which I got from Freesound, which is a very good website. You can go there and get sounds for free, hence the name. You might have worked that out by yourself. I'm going to take this sample of a dial-up modem and make a track out of it. I'm going to try anyway. I can't guarantee whether it's going to be any good, but maybe you might enjoy watching me do that. Why the dial-up modem? Well, it's kind of got everything you need. There's a huge sonic palette here to play with. And also there's a bit of 90s nostalgia. You know, the 90s. Remember using the internet in the 90s, the late 90s here in the UK? We got it a little bit later. So, you know, emails, GeoCities websites, Ask Jeeves, waiting 20 minutes for a JPEG of Kelly Brook to load. Oh, I wonder where she is now. Anyway. More 90s nostalgia later. Let's get into it. Let's listen to it again. Let's have, let's have a listen to it. It's just, okay. So already we've got that dial tone at the start. Beep, 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 beep. High pitch. Clunk. There we go. I love this little bit at the end here. There's this, I didn't even really notice that. There's, there's a great little, yeah, that's just. So where do we start? Well, I tell you what, let's just pull in simpler. Let's chuck a simpler in here and let's just chuck that straight into simpler and see what we can do. Let's set it to slice. And already we've got all of these transients here. I'm on my push. I'm going to go to note view and. Uh... Oh, that's the last one. That's just some noise. All right, let's try the capture thing. Let's see what the capture thing's just done. Tell me. Sh this is going to be so much fun. This is, this is probably going to be quite a long video because I'm basically making this all from scratch, which I wouldn't normally do, but I felt like it today. What tempo are we at? 100. All right, let's go to let's go to this bit here. Let's go set one here. Oh, where's my cue out? Okay, let's set that. Down. Okay. You know what? That was a terrible idea. I never used that capture thing. I'm sure it's good for certain things, but let's decide on a tempo. Let's that tempo was good. That was like bum bum bum. Bum, 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 bum. What was that? Like, oh, I'm not actually tapping it. Two, three, four, five, six. No, let's go for 160. Um, okay, let's go for 160. Yeah, that bit there, I want that bit. Yeah, so that capture thing worked out quite well. So I'm going to hit quantize on the push. Sorry, you can't see that I'm doing that because I'm not actually just going to worry too much about explaining everything that I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it. All right. Okay, so um, that's just like, oh, I probably won't even use it. So, okay, let's start with the kick drum. I'm going to pull in sampler here and I'm going to pull the sample in down here. And I'm fairly certain that there's this little sine wave thing here, little tone. Yeah, so that is just going to be plenty good to make a kick drum. So let's, let's do our kick drum. All right, let's maybe turn the snap on, see what it gives us. Okay, the snap is going to start dead on the zero crossing. That's what I like. Let's go to the... Uh, volume, let's turn the volume up. Let's turn the filter off for now. Okay, let's put this in a drum rack. Group to drum rack. And um, let's just program in like a little sort of footworky thing. Dirt, 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 dirt. Uh, let's see what's, uh, let's see what we've got. Is that, is that like a footwork thing? Let's turn the tempo on. 
Yeah, okay, all right. So let's let's do a kick drum. So first of all, we probably want to go into our pitch envelope, put the pitch envelope all the way up, pull this all the way down, all this all the way. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, we've got a kick drum. It's beautiful. Look at that. No time at all. Bit of filter. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm going to do the same thing now. Um, I'm going to take that sample again. Let's go back to our drummer. Let's put a sampler in here. Um, let's put the... Um, let's put that in there. Let's find that... Uh, that that thing again and um let's do the same thing but this is just going to be slightly higher in pitch again pretty quiet let's pull this all up a little bit turn these off for now uh okay yeah we don't want that do the same for the kick as well okay um, all right, let's maybe group that and go in here. Let's duplicate that. And in this second one, so this one I'll call, um, you know, I'll call this the body. And then this, what have I just done? What have I just done? Okay, let's, uh, yeah, this one, the body. Why? Why can't I tab? Why can't I tab to the next? What the fuck is going on here? Right, you know what? I'm just going to have to do it this way. Right, body and snare. So let's go back to here. Okay. So for this one, we'll go to this noisy part of the sample. Uh, but we won't have any pitch on there. Yeah, okay. Um, pitch it up a bit. Okay, a bit more release maybe. Okay, this, the, so our body, which is going doo -doo, and then we've got the snare that's going um, let's go back to the body and see if we can just make that. Make that. Okay, this one. Maybe be a bit quieter. Maybe we can overdrive it a bit. Yeah, okay, it needs a bit more work. There we go. Okay, all right, that'll do for now. I'll get, get no time to mess about. Let's just keep going. Okay, I don't know why I'm going with the footwork thing. I don't even really know that much about it. Probably footwork people are going to come after me. Mate, you don't know what you're doing. Okay, I don't care. I'm pissed. Right. Bit of release on that. Yeah. All right, now we need to do a hi-hat. That's going to be incredibly easy. Let's just pull in another sampler. Um, and we'll go for, again, for this noisy bit here. This is good stuff. That just sounds like outer space. That's what outer space sounds like. All right, let's use this. Um, turn the filter off for now. Pitch it up. Okay, envelope down. Tour the volume up. Yeah, okay, a bit of high pass, high pass filtering. Turn the key down. Okay, 16ths all the way. Let's go. All right, what do we have now? Okay. All right, drum bust it like an idiot. That's We need to get the vibe going. If we can't get the vibe going, then it's, nothing's going to happen. Right, this is going to be very loud. Beautiful. Okay, let's put a limiter on the master track. Okay, let's tweak that kick a little bit more. Not getting much release. There we go. Maybe a bit of overdrive, bit of drive. Beautiful. And now I want to put that um, that little bit at the end. So let's get another sampler in here. Let's put this in here. And I want to use that, that bit at the end. That little thing there, whatever this is. Let's zoom in. Yeah. It's so good. It's like proper metallic. And the snap on, maybe. All right. I don't know what kind of. I don't know where to put this. 
Celebration guzzle. Please drink responsibly. Okay, now we need to come up with some sort of melodic idea or something, some sort of melodic identity. This is the bit where I'm probably going to struggle the most, but... Um... That's kind of nice. Just that like that. Could be quite good for an ambient thing. Let's see what the keyboard says. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That quantized badly. Undo. Yeah, that probably needs to go. Okay, let's try that again. Quantize. Oh my goodness, me. Okay, that'll do. All right, let's see. Oh, the drums are kind of really... Dead. Okay, let's turn the drums down. Okay, that might do for a, for a section. I'm going to try something. Um, I'm just going to mute that for now. Let's uh, focus on... Um That's good. work just if the capture just worked <laughs> okay this capture thing i'm starting to like it now all right set one here yeah that doesn't fit at all all right never mind we can come back to that later Oh dear, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a good keyboard player, especially when I'm on my second beer. No. 16th. Da 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 da. Okay. Semitone down. Let me see what. <laughs> okay, all right. This is very silly, but we're going to make it sound fat as fuck, mate. One voice. Let's see if we can try it with some portamento. legato them no don't like it change my mind
There we go. All right, baseline. It's baseline time. No time to think. Let's do the baseline. So we're just going to stay in C. It's probably not even C. I didn't even tune it, but we're going to have to. We're going to have to use the same. I tell you what. I'll just take a copy. Take a copy of that, and this one I'll just do in a lower octave. The sound is not starting in the optimum position. Let's pull it forward a bit. Let's turn the snap on. Let's turn the snap on. Yeah. Okay, that's what that'll do. Okay, right, let's try this. bit out of tune as it transposes. That's pretty bad. This is the best thing I've ever done with my life. This was not a waste of time. Maybe I can use the velocity to let's randomize that velocity. Yeah. This is sort of a this is sort of somewhere across between footwork and Nintendo. But Nintendo footwork. Let's go back to that. Where's that simpler? Here we go. All right, let's go. This is this is way off. What's going on here? Something is wrong. Ah, it's just not quite eight bars. Right. I I also remembered I need to go in there and get that start position sorted. Snap on. That snare. Snare. Maybe I could put a drum bus in on the snare ahead of the drum bus. Controversial. Let's see what it's like. I'll just do it for the kick as well. Let's just drum bus everything like a twat. Oh, not there. 
and everything and put it in there. Oh, it's it's revealed some strange noise. It's brought something out. What's that done? Wow. It's brought out some little ringing noise. That's well cool. That is rave. This bit, less so. Okay, I'm just going to take a copy of this bass line and just... modulation on each new note make it go a touch out of tune let's try 10% nice 
No, that's too much. Let's try point. No, let's just try. Yeah, 1%. No, don't like the delay anymore. Reverb. Oh, there was a reverb there already. That's a little bit aggressive in the highs. Let's have a look what the EQ says. Yeah, I might do a little cut around here. All right. Where are my drums? I haven't labeled anything. Drum rack, here we go. Half like it and half think it's kind of silly, but I can't really stop now. I've come this far. I should do that but what's going on with this one maybe i should do that again but like boom 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 like the kick drum because it's even though it feels like that's what it's doing that isn't what it's doing so what did i do okay let's go back to this track all right let's try that Damn it, I lost the count. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn off these uh, beat repeats for a bit because it was distracting me from the groove. All right, let's try again. some scenes now let's uh let's get a scene with um how would we start this um i mean it's kind of at this point now so i don't really know what to do so i'm just i'll take a copy of that but let's say we'll take the drums out here all right let's take another one here we'll put this one here um oh, yeah and then maybe um delete what's this one? Oh yeah that's like our little garagey melody what that would sound like with a if I stick an arpeggiator on it. if I legato let's legato the um all the notes and then see what it's like with the arpeggiator it's a little bit more computery sounding
do for now i think that was a fun little creative squirt um uh, into the world of footwork a genre that i literally know nothing about at all uh using samples from a dial-up modem from the 90s ah the 90s simpler times you know before social media before cancel culture you know back when you just got good old-fashioned scandals in the tabloids you know, I feel I feel nostalgic. Let's have a look at some pictures. Let's have a look at some pictures. I've got, I've got like some photos I got earlier of like 90 stuff. Let's see what we got here. So we got, oh yeah, Green Day. Yeah, remember them? They were fun, weren't they? They had the spiky hair and that sort of stuff. It's, uh, what's this one? Um, oh, the Spice Girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, Brit, uh, Girl Power. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, okay. What's this one? It's, oh yeah, the Foo Fighters. Yeah, Dave Grohl. It's a leather jacket, long hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really good, is it? And, Oh, yeah, of course. Um, uh, Kirk Cobain and Courtney Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, not, it's, uh, so 90s, so 90s. Yeah, what's this? Um, uh, oh, Garbage. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shirley Manson and uh, Butchvig. Yeah, yeah. Classic, classic 90s stuff. And uh, what's, what's this? Oh, of course. And Lady Diana. Yeah, sad times. Anyway, I'm going to go and put this on my Patreon now. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly had a bit of fun. It was uh, bumpy, but it kind of came out all right. If you feel like supporting me on Patreon, you can download all kinds of stuff to do with Ableton Live and Max MSP and other things and get involved in all kinds of fun community stuff with me and other patrons who are also very talented musicians and into cool stuff. And we hang out sometimes and chat and it's all fun. So I'm going to go on AOL now and uh, I'll see you later. Okay, cheers. Bye. Bye.